Hi there artisans, welcome back to this channel. This is Michelle Rosenberg. Welcome to the second episode of our perfume project. So today, we're gonna paint something very beautiful and I want you to join with me. Time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told. It's so once again, this is the second episode of our perfume project and we are creating the most expensive perfumes in the whole world. And as you can see on the top left corner of the video, you can see the subject or the sample subject that we are going to draw today. And since this is just an example of the picture, we are going to determine the shapes that we have to establish on the drawing. So the first image that I could see is the triangle and the square. And now, as you can see, I've created the um, image. I have to create first and draw the triangle. And that's the perfume itself. And I have to create even from the top of the cap. So I have to measure it this way so that I could actually determine the correct proportions of this uh, project. And to correct the right proportion of this picture, I have to draw it this way. So why don't you follow me as I do it and let's have some fun along. Now in this particular subject, I just tried to draw the details of the uh, perfume and not recognizing yet the cup or the distance between the cup and the perfume bottle itself but just to establish all of the details that I see you know those clear details that I could recognize so for the first I saw that there's a small piece of paper on the top of it and the color is violet and I have to establish all of those uh, small shadows um, not so much uh, giving some hard impressions on the pencil but just a slight of uh, shadows and values in it. Now going through the, the drawing, I have to create the circle subject where as that is I think the gold inside the cap or just a reflection also of the perfume and since the bottle and the perfume is a uh, a, ref a reflectable image I actually am very challenged into making this drawing now as you can see I go through all of the details that I can see inside that uh, perfume those images that are the reflections from the table stand and from the feet of this perfume itself the feet was like a crystal violet and it has four reflections the other one is underneath the water or underneath the perfume as you can see it on the left side and there's also uh, some other reflections that we have to distinguish even those small uh, shadings that we have to cover within this part so now as we uh, proceed on the uh, image we have to create all of those image very carefully with our pencil and shade them and those lighter parts will just have to sketch them naturally and we will not cover them with color since in watercolor all of those lighter shades will not be covered with color they have to stay as it is now we're gonna go on through the uh, left side part of the perfume and uh, here we'll just have to distinguish the 
the tones and the texture, the, the shadings of the picture, and all of the small details that we actually see inside that image. And shading all of the um, reflection from underneath and creating these kind of illusion techniques that we can see underneath the uh, perfume there are actually the reflection from the feet and from the light coming through the perfume going through the table now talking about the perfume project i'm gonna talk about the story of this perfume so sit back and relax and if you have any other sort of uh, ideas by the way you can just put it in the comment below or if you want to paint with me then grab your materials while you're listening to this So Baccarat was originally a maker of impeccable crystal products and it entered the fragrance industry in the 1990s. This item is a part of its three exclusive limited edition perfumes. Its fragrance is the result of a combination of mere frankincense, musk, sandalwood, myrtle, basil, cardamom, ilang ilang, geranium, jasmine, and amber packaged delightfully in a unique pyramid-shaped crystal bottle. The fragrance name means Sacred Tears of Thebes and it was designed by Christian Nagel. One of the main reasons why it is so expensive is because the bottle is handmade by Baccarat experts and is capped by an amethyst crystal. The bottle has a bubble of yellow crystal blown inside the host's of the scent. Now, talking about the Baccarat Le Larme Sacre de Tebe, costing 5,500 pounds in equivalent to 6,800 US dollars per ounce. So this bottle is a beautiful perfume and one of the three limited edition fragrances by Baccarat and its name Le Larme Sacre de Tebe hints at how precious it is as the translation is the Sacred Tears of Tebe. Now the perfume is presented in an unusual clear crystal pyramid that is capped with amethyst colored crystal. Inside the pyramid is a golden crystal bubble and the perfume is stored in this so as you can see those details that I actually painted inside that yellow round circle that is a gold blown and um, I wonder how we're gonna use it if we would probably buy it but since we don't have that kind of amount we'll just have to paint it Now that you know about the information of this perfume, I know probably that you will search it on Google and you will probably dig more about some information about this perfume. It's one of the, 
the expensive perfumes that I have ever known and I was so much inspired and enticed to paint them because of their um, I think it's because of the shape and because of the the gold that are actually glowing in the picture and therefore I am also enticed to paint this because I want to develop my skills in drawing a glass or a liquid and since water is also difficult to paint in watercolor and even in acrylic I wanted to try it in my own techniques now as I'm using this brush pen I actually met some difficulties this pen I bought from Borola is a watercolor brush pen and actually it works kind of great when it comes to the detailing but one problem that I faced with this brush pen is that it has a very strong pigment and it doesn't work so well on a dry technique it works kind of bit in a water or wet on wet technique but then you have to be so fast in brushing the color because otherwise it will just stick in one place and the pigments are so strong and it can even destroy your whole painting as you can see in the beginning of this painting when i painted the cap of this perfume i tried to um, paint in lines because that's what I saw on their website that the video they presented had actually draw in line and then um, blended it with a wet brush pen and since I wanted to do that it didn't work out for me so what happens then is that I covered it entirely instead with the violet color so as you can see it works like a marker so this water marker is actually indeed a marker it's not a a water color brush pen that you could actually bend, blend by your own so it probably would work for the animators those who draw like anime or cartoonist i think this would probably work well for you and as for me as a watercolor and mixture mixed media artist um, I didn't find this very interesting after using it this far within this painting so probably I'm gonna use it later in lettering and as we look upon this uh, painting you can see that I continued with my brush I'm switching between my own brush to the brushing pen and I am sorry for my head it's so huge and my hair is everywhere <laughs> I know it destroys your view in the camera and forgive me for that but as I go through the painting I want to show you these wet on wet techniques with this blue color now as you can see I just painted it like everywhere and the blending of the color is actually okay but it's very very harsh and I have to be fast it's like I'm running against a um, troop of a uh, train <laughs> in a train station you know and then coming with the brush you see it's uh, kind of difficult to control the color but I managed to uh, blend it very well and the problem that happens here is that there will be a harsh pigment on where the water ends so that's why i tried at least my best to just leave it as it is and leave it dry and i'm going to continue on the other parts of this painting
Now, going through the other side of the, uh, the perfume, I actually blend it with a little bit of gray. And I'm not actually satisfied with this color gray because it's kind of blue for me or a little bit of shade of black but I have to use it somehow so that I could actually experience the effect of this uh, brush pen and while the the gray is trying to dry I have to go through the gold reflection you know the circle reflection coming from the cap and working all through the shades that are in the picture and as I draw this actually I hope that you will also get along with me in the drawing and if you are a member here you can actually check my longest videos that I will be uploading and there you can paint along with me it will be in a slow phase where you can actually uh, follow the steps and without my voice you can just listen to the music and you can follow my steps or you can do it by your own with the picture you can see and um, do by your own techniques Right, so now we are almost at the end of creating this uh, image and we're just finishing the best part of the image, creating the yellow lemon color of the uh, table stand and I am quite satisfied in how it turned out but the problem is there are some parts of this image where um, I actually probably would continue with my uh, palette but as my advice for beginners um, probably it's better if you buy a uh, watercolor palette so that you will learn how to blend all the colors and don't rely so much on the water brush pens like this and this is a water water brush marker as it suggests I bought this in Varola and um, I am not satisfied with the with the result of it so it depends on how you're gonna use this brush pen actually so it's up to you if you wanna buy it and the price is um, actually kind of relevant, relevant for me it's like $25 per pen and it has 20 uh, brush pens and the problem with this is that it dries too fast as i have said and that you will find no manual for the um, the brush pens it comes along with this small packaging and um, and the uh, color is very strong so i won't recommend it for uh, a watercolor beginner unless you want to try it yourself and 
Don't worry about the mistakes because that's how you're going to learn. So right, now just completing all the details because now it's dry, I am actually uh, uh, putting a mark on all of the edges with a little bit of darker pen and remember that this brush pen actually has a longer tip so that's why it's easy to, uh, to uh, distinguish those sides where I have to go through and um, I actually kind of enjoyed the process because I've learned a little bit on how to control the brush in my hand and this brush pen is good for animators uh, doing the anime or like letter cards for example if you are good in letterings and I also created some cards with my uh, ordinary palette but I've never created the uh, letterings with a brush pen like this so probably I'm gonna use this for further uh, paintings like those and for the upcoming um, perfume project I will be painting with the mixed media and I hope that you'll get along with me the mixed media will be with acrylic and watercolor uh, palettes so the base will be an acrylic gesso and we're gonna cover it with a watercolor painting. I hope that you enjoyed this painting and that you have learned a lot and if you have the time please uh, join the Facebook or follow my Facebook page Rochelle Rosenberg Journal 
like the page and if you want to share your art please do so i'd be gladly to present your art and tag it or otherwise pm me if you have any kind of uh, ideas you can also put it in the comment below so i hope to see you again and i want to thank each and every one of you who are watching this until the end to all the subscribers thank you so much for all the efforts that you have given and for trusting me with your subscription that i could reach this far without you i cannot uh, create all of this amazing content and thank you so much for um, giving your time with me so now the result is about to come Once again, thank you so much and this is Rochelle Rosenberg. See you again on the next art. Overnight, and also then you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on doors the light. Ignite. Play the intuition upon the stars and the night that glisten. To you, they listen to be you, it's something I'm wishing. Listen, do your own math and learn from the stuff that you are missing. Create your own path with your own vision.